Hey everybody, Adam Savage alongside Ted Hunter from the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Armor Conservation Lab. And we've been opening cabinets here and there and going through the, the, the history you guys are always unpacking, but you're not just using old techniques. Um, this cabinet is full of some actual materials. Yeah, we've got old tools, we've got old this, the old that, and what this is full of is uh, the collection of pigments. Oh. You know, there's there's Japan colors and aniline dyes and oh my goodness, we're still using them. Yeah, um, like this one, for example, I like to mix with uh, nitrocellulose lacquer to make just a slight golden color to the lacquer. Sure. Put a little warmth on something. There must be some nicely toxic things. Oh, deep in here. oh my God! Well, here we keep the <laughs> the heavy metals. Here's the heavy metals over here in the old containers. Although I have to say that's actually a Nescafe can. Oh, it is a Nescafe can. Or can lid anyway. Yeah, but here, what is it holding? Cadmium red. Cadmium I think. red. There we yeah. go. So some of the like really kind of interesting old stuff we've separated out. Fair enough. Most of this is, you know, but baby jars. Yeah. Um, a lot of these were for staining woods and like for gun stocks or fabrics, things like that. This, some stuff we bought here just recently, we're going to use to pigment wax change the tone of a cannon. Oh. We have a bronze cannon that was recovered from a marine environment and yeah. in the conservation process, which was done offsite, not by us. Right. Uh, it's kind of a bright green. and we're, We've been experimenting with ways to reduce the bright green a little bit. So we're gonna be mixing various pigments with the wax and applying on layers of wax and seeing where we get with that. Do you um, end up having um, things like the records from older conservators about recipes for uh, powders and dyes? Not as much as you'd Sadly, like. I wish that I did. <laughs> My predecessors were notoriously uh, lax in that regard. They left us very few recipes, a few. Yeah. Most of the time, you'd be lucky to get a note that says, we worked on this February, 1956, something like that. <laughs> A day by day calendar or something similar. Yeah, that would be that would be great yeah. actually. But no, there's very few notes left behind. Uh, you know, I I did open up a gun once, and inside was a note from 1935, I think, <sighs> saying, you know, Harvey Merton cleaned this 1935, December 1935. That was magic, yeah. right? So I put a note in it. Says, well, so did I. You know, <laughs> 20. 20 or 2016 or whatever year it was, and I stuck that back in there and closed it up. So 50 years from now, someone yeah. will open it up. We leave much better records now, but so we're kind of winging it with a yeah. lot of these old things. Like, why do we have cadmium red again? I don't it know, but if I ever up. need it, yeah. I've got it. Oh, I, I just first like, rule of workshops, right? I was saying this to, to your colleague Sean in another video, but that like I love that you're conversing with both the past and the future yeah. here. Yeah, I, I did hadn't considered the second part, but of course that is exactly what you're doing. I have to leave behind records of everything we do, and why we did it, and how they can undo it. Um, because we're guessing Amazing. what our predecessors did. So There you go. A video, because I am thrilled by a cabinet full of pigment. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. <laughs>